The Law of Silence, How to Unlock Your Hidden Potential. Welcome to this video where I will reveal to you the law of silence. This is a secret that most people don't know or don't use in their noisy and chaotic world. But silence can be a powerful weapon for personal growth, communication, and spirituality. In this video, I will show you why silence is so powerful in certain situations, what psychology says about the benefits of silence, and what ancient philosophers have taught us about the value of silence. Silence and personal growth. How to master yourself. Silence can help you to master yourself by allowing you to reflect on yourself, your thoughts, and your feelings. Silence can also boost your creativity, focus, and self-control by reducing distractions and stress. Silence can also cultivate your mindfulness by making you more aware and appreciative of the present moment. Some examples of how silence can foster personal growth are meditation, which is a practice of focusing on the breath, a mantra, or an object, while letting go of other thoughts and sensations. Meditation can improve your mental and physical health by lowering blood pressure, enhancing immune system, increasing happiness, and reducing anxiety and depression. As Rumi said, listen to silence. It has so much to say. Journaling, which is a practice of writing down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences without censoring or judging them. Journaling can help you to process your emotions, gain insights, and solve problems. As Anne Frank said, paper has more patience than people. Reading, which is a practice of engaging with written texts, whether they are fiction or non-fiction, for pleasure or learning. Reading can expand your knowledge, vocabulary, and imagination, as well as improve your memory, concentration, and critical thinking skills. As Oscar Wilde said, it is what you read when you don't have to that determines what you will be when you can't help it. Silence and communication, how to influence others. Silence can also improve your communication with others by making you better listeners, speakers, and influencers. Silence can also convey different meanings, depending on the context and the intention. Silence can also be used strategically to create suspense, interest, or respect. Some examples of how silence can enhance communication are active listening, which is a skill of paying attention to what the other person is saying without interrupting, judging, or giving advice. Active listening can help you to understand the other person's perspective, feelings, and needs, as well as build rapport and trust. As Stephen Covey said, most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Pausing, which is a technique of leaving a brief gap between sentences or words, to emphasize a point, to create suspense, or to invite feedback. Pausing can help you to speak more clearly, confidently, and persuasively, as well as to capture the attention and interest of the audience. As Mark Twain said, the right word may be effective, but no word was ever as effective as a rightly timed pause. Silence as a response, which is a choice of not saying anything to indicate agreement, disagreement, approval, disapproval, or indifference. Silence as a response can also be a way of avoiding conflict, showing respect, or expressing power. As Abraham Lincoln said, better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. Silence and spirituality, how to connect with the divine. Silence can also connect you to your spirituality by opening you to the mystery, the transcendence, and the divine. Silence can also foster your sense of awe, wonder, and gratitude by making you aware of the beauty and the sacredness of life. Silence can also inspire you to live more ethically, compassionately, and generously by aligning you with your values and purpose. Some examples of how silence can nurture your spirituality are prayer, which is a practice of communicating with God or a higher power through words, thoughts, or feelings. Prayer can help you to express your gratitude, praise, confession, petition, or intercession, as well as to receive guidance, comfort, or strength. As Mother Teresa said, God speaks in the silence of the heart. Listening is the beginning of prayer. Contemplation, which is a practice of resting in the presence of God, 
or a higher power without words, thoughts, or feelings. Contemplation can help you to experience union, love, and peace, as well as to transform your hearts, minds, and actions. As Thomas Merton said, contemplation is the highest expression of man's intellectual and spiritual life. It is that life itself, fully awake, fully active, fully aware that it is alive. It is spiritual wonder. It is spontaneous awe at the sacredness of life, of being. It is gratitude for life, for awareness, and for being. Silence as a virtue, which is a quality of being silent when it is appropriate, beneficial, or necessary. Silence as a virtue can help you to avoid gossip, slander, or lies, as well as to respect the dignity, privacy, and freedom of others. As Benjamin Franklin said, remember not only to say the right thing in the right place, but far more difficult still, to leave unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. Silence is a powerful and precious gift that you can use for your personal growth, communication, and spirituality. Silence can also help you to appreciate the sound, the voice, and the word when they are used wisely and kindly. Silence can also challenge you to face your fears, doubts, and insecurities that you often hide behind the noise. Silence can also invite you to listen to your inner voice, your intuition, and your conscience that guide you to your true self. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the law of silence. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.